Good morning artists, Mrs. Langless here, and today we are going to be learning all about how to make a caterpillar, just like the one you see here in your picture. But of course, as usual, yours is gonna look very different than mine, and that's what makes art fantastic. There's no wrong answers here. So I'm gonna show you how to make this one. Feel free to put your own personal touches on it to make it your own. All right, so let's get started. What you will need today is a piece of paper and a pencil to begin, and then later on, um, some coloring materials as well. Um, you can use whatever coloring materials you want. This one in particular looks like it was painted, um, so feel free to paint it if you'd like. Otherwise, just using whatever you have on hand. All right, so I'm gonna grab my piece of paper and we are gonna get started. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do on our paper is that we're gonna create a curve. Now, keep in mind that this is a guideline. A guideline is a line that is meant to be erased in the end. So it's super important that you keep it light so that it's easier for you to erase and then you won't see it. So I'm gonna start my curve over on this edge of the paper and then it's just gonna come up almost like a hill and then come right back down. Okay, so there's my curve and you'll notice that I kept it light on purpose. All right, the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create some lines um, that go across this particular line that I just made. So I'm gonna start right down here toward the end and I'm just gonna make a line and then another line. And what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to keep them spaced apart um, the same distance. So see how that's about the same distance? So trying to space them apart as best you can. You have to go slow and careful. And then I'll do one here, and one here, and then one maybe down here at the end, okay? All right, so now my next step is that I am going to make a line that starts down here at the end of my caterpillar. This will eventually be where um, you know, the, the head attaches here. So I'm gonna just bring a line up and curve. Now here's what will happen. A bumpy line next. So there's one bump, two bumps, three bumps, four bumps. You'll notice that my bumps are starting one at a time here at each of those lines that I just made. Again, and now toward the end, I'm just going to bring it to a point right here. Okay, now I know it really doesn't look like a caterpillar yet, but I promise we are going to get there. Next side, I'm gonna start at this end this time, and I'm just going to curve to that first line and then create another bump, and another bump, and another bump, and I'm just gonna keep on going, turning this corner here until I get all the way down here to the end. All right, now what I'm noticing on mine is that I don't really have a lot of room here. So I think I'm gonna erase and just bring it back just a little bit. Okay, so that's the great thing about an artist, especially, you know, when you're using a pencil because everyone makes mistakes. So if you make a mistake, don't worry about it. Just erase. Okay. Just erase and try it again. No big deal. That is why we started in pencil. All right. Um, and next step, we are going to be adding on the head shape, which is why I just backed that up a bit because I wanted to leave room. The head is really important. So now I'm gonna make a round shape toward the end. That's gonna be my little head for my caterpillar. And then I'm gonna add the face. So I'm gonna do, and you can make your face however silly you want. Um, I'm gonna do a big circle and then a little circle inside that. And then this circle is actually gonna go off the edge because I want to erase and make it look like that eye is kind of sticking out. I think that would look really cool. So I'm gonna make another circle on the inside and then I'm just gonna make a little smile. 
And I will add in his antennae. So he's got these really cool little things that pop up here. And again, you can make yours look very different than mine. So there is a, are some details to get us more looking like a caterpillar. Um, the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna come back and erase that guideline that I made originally. So I'm just gonna come along and erase. Sometimes when I have a lot to erase like this, and you can see that I do a lot of erasing because I make lots of mistakes, I actually like to get a big eraser so that it makes it a little bit easier. Now, and the cool thing is we're gonna be coloring this. So any lines that you can still see after you're erasing will you know, be covered up by our um, crayons or markers or whatever you choose to use today. All right, so I'm just kind of fine tuning it so that I like the looks of it. All right, so here's my caterpillar and you can see it's really already looking very realistic. Um, and I like how it looks like it's sort of wriggling along. So now I'm going to start to add in my legs. So I'm gonna make a little leg coming out from each one of these bumps. This is kind of like his tail. So I'm not gonna make one there. I'm gonna make one there and there and there. When I was young, I was obsessed with caterpillars absolutely obsessed I love them but you do have to be careful because I remember one time I actually picked up a caterpillar that was white and it was really really fuzzy and it made my hands itch really bad so make sure that you're careful about which caterpillars you're actually picking up all right Life lessons here um, with Mrs. Langless. All right, now I'm gonna add a little bit of a pattern because a lot of times, just like I was talking about that fluffy white caterpillar, a lot of times they have patterns on them um, that eventually become the patterns in the beautiful butterfly that they will turn into. So I'm just going to add in a circle on each of my little sections that I made of their body. except for the tail and the head, of course. Now, I'm still wanting to make my head a little bit larger. To me, he just needs a little bit more of a rounded head here, so I think I'm gonna do that. All right, so there is my caterpillar drawing. Now, what I can do is I can trace my lines with a Sharpie if I want to, or another colored marker, and then go ahead and color it in. Here's a look at that one that's all finished again. This is a project that uh, um, one of my favorite um, art teachers um, from artprojectsforkids.org created, and I just love it. I love how it looks really squishy, and you can see it kind of wriggling across the paper. So have fun with this. Trace it, add color. You could paint it, whatever you would like. And then when you're finished, make sure that you snap a photo and share it with me um, through email or upload to Seesaw. Hope you guys are doing well. And by the way, caterpillars turn into butterflies. And that is what we'll work on next week. So have a great week. Enjoy the artwork and enjoy the sunshine. And I will see you next week.